Uh, my name is Tom Kral. I'm 29. Um, I'm the chef and owner of the Prague. Um, the Prague, formerly known as Prague Deli. I'm in the third generation of the business. It was passed on to me from my parents. I went to Prague to a trip for my first time to the Czech Republic, which is where my background's from. And it was only there that I could I would realize, you know, it's such a cool country and there's the rich culture and the history. And so I got a lot of ideas going in my head, just being a chef, working in, you know, high-end places. But uh, Czech cuisine was not on, you know, I didn't know, really know much about it. That's why it was a good challenge to kind of take it and learn something new with the cuisine and, you know, be proud of the heritage. It was quite a challenge being under 30 and being a, an, an owner and a chef of a restaurant and having uh, staff still that know you since you're a little kid. Traditional Czech dishes are, are very uh, rich and big portions, comfort food. Uh, they consist of dumplings and cabbage, stuff that's pickled braised, cooked long, um, so dishes like, uh, like a goulash, spichkova, which is like a, it's a medieval dish that dates back before refrigeration, where meat was pickled first, and then that way, you know, it would last longer, and they would use that to braise the sauce. Changes I made to the business was uh, to have more of a restaurant side to the business. Um, it was just to the neighborhood that was changing. People want more prepared foods. Before it was more like a deli. We had fresh meats, uh, you know, sandwiches. They, they, old customers definitely approved the changes. The old customers come back, which was a, a big um, key point in renovating. What makes the Prague unique is, well, first, we're the only Czech restaurant in the city. Uh, also, having the restaurant side, deli side, you know, there's a bakery in there, there's groceries, imported products, there's frozen meals for takeout, the, the deli meats, the cheeses, sandwiches to go, soups to go, plus the catering service that we have to offer. I like to try to keep the, the recipes that we have secret, like somewhat secret. Um, I just don't like to, you know, give out recipes and they can, you know, make it at home or, you know, they tells them a secret. Uh, my training, where I was trained, uh, I've, I was apprentice at the King Edward Hotel under John Higgins. Um, John Higgins. He, he was the uh, head director there, the executive chef there, and he was also the head uh, of the Team Canada. So it was a really good experience to get all aspects of the kitchen. There's a few people uh, that inspire me, um, but one who really got me started into the fine dining part was Suser Lee. Like he, I helped him out um, for like personally before he opened these restaurants. Business philosophy, I just try to be well balanced. Um, you know, in a way you have to be bossy, but in a way you have to be rewarding to your employees. And uh, you know, I can't pay them what they deserve, but at least I could uh, appreciate them and um, just keep them motivated. That's my philosophy.